Alright, so we just got a new post from Grand Cross. I mean, we knew, I mean, at least I, I assumed, <laughs> maybe I didn't know, but like, common sense told me that we should be getting a new LR next week. And there it is. So they're making a post asking, who do we think is the new LR? And then they plaster a picture that basically tells us, right? I mean, it tells us, but it doesn't, because it, it's going to be king. Like, it's gonna be king. You can see that the, you know, the crown and the, uh, the little, little thing. But, uh, which one, right? Because we saw Askenor be an LR, right, if I open the game. But we weren't really sure, is it gonna be what Askenor? The one? Is it gonna be green Askenor? Ended up being green Askenor. And it was a, a big, I wanna say surprise, because... Honestly, the expectation was that it would have been festival, right? Festival, festivals in general would be the only LRs, but no, they just pulled that out of us and said, actually, it can be anybody, I guess. So now, which king will it be? Let me take a look first at the comments here. And uh, bro, Twitter, if you go on the Assembly Sins Twitter uh, for the past like two weeks, the replies are hilarious. The Japanese, you know, like the actual like Japanese players, all talking mad shit because they do not like how bad the collab characters were. But I guess this post is gonna be a little bit different. Um, king, king. Hey, the Chrome is like okay. Uh. I might be king because the crowd, but now it's on the back five. Guffer Melaskula? I guess the... the uh... the mirror? From when... you know, remember like when um... that whole thing happened in the past with uh... with Melaskula and Guffer and uh, Ludociel was like in, the, in this room? But like, no. No. You, you, got, you got the crown and the... I'm forgetting the name of this thing. Chastifo. Oh my god, I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't remember the name of the, the damn thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, it, no. It, no. Although Chastifo is not blue. I guess it doesn't matter the color, but it's it's supposed to be like green, right? But with the crown as well, I I do not think it would be Gaffer or, or Melascula. I'm gonna have to keep retranslating here. Uh, Feather King. This means it says uh, Wing King. Entrance for reinforcement for the goddess who was a holy war. Go. It's <laughs> a funny gaff right there. King. If I use Coin King, I don't think people who will have it will complain about it. Yeah, of course. Although, let me tell you, man. Either of these kings will be very annoying. So, the two king options we have, right? On, like, realistically, are Skinny King, the old one. OG one. Blue Skinny King is one of the two options. I, I think, just like Green Askenor, he is a... Sort of like special character. He was a meta character for so long, and so in such like an early stage of the game, and he was just genuinely like a a really like I want to say character that defined early Grand Cross, just like Green Askenor, just like Green Askenor. So I, I would say he is on the level of Green Askenor in that way. He is like an OG. Super OP character from the back of the day, and he was free, like, you actually got him from story. So he was, like, crazy. Plus, it was a coin shop, you know. And then you have Festival King, right? Where is he? You have Festival King. Festival King is a festival, so that that's the, <laughs> that's the only reason I'm putting him here. To be fair, he was pretty good at launch, but he fell off, I would say, rather quickly compared to other festivals. Most festivals take very long to fall off. And Festival King fell off decently fast because after Festival King, the festival that came out was this bad boy. And he was good. He was damn good. 
So he, he, he took a beating right there. And then right after, the following festival was actually Lolly Merlin. And his shoe was green. So like, even even if you weren't having too much issues with Ascaris somehow, yeah, then a green festival with like a bunch of support came out. Not a good time for Festival King. But he was good when he came out. Plus, he, he was one of those characters that actually came out with a, a unit on his own banner, Hendrickson, that actually complimented him. I wish we got more characters like that these days, but whatever. So he, he could be the festival because he's an LR. He's a... Because he could be the LR because he's a festival, sorry. I, I, mm. Either way, no matter which one of these becomes an LR, let me tell you, it's gonna be annoying. This guy's whole thing is damage over time debuffs, and I can see, right? So, you know, his whole thing was you do the damage over time, and if you apply all three debuffs, they start losing ult gauge, right? And with his Holy Relic, it just gives an extra damage over time just from doing an, an attack so he can be more self-sufficient. If they make him an LR, they're going to have to add so much, so many things to this, right? It's not going to be just lowering ult gauge. He's going to have to, like, I don't know, attack you just by using one card. He's going to have to, like, attack with a stat lower, like one of these two. Like, he's going to have to do something to you that's going to be not allowing you to just one-shot him following turn with Demon King, right? That's gonna be the thing. And if he doesn't, the Demon King already has a cleanse, and so does Purgatory Malice. So, like, the damage over time thing is just not gonna work out. With those cleanses from those characters, it's just, it's just gonna be a problem for you if you're using this King, right? So, they're gonna have to uh, disable the... It's gonna make have to make the debuffs gray. And if, the, the, if they make the debuffs gray... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Plus, we're getting a new Elaine, right? If you uh, haven't seen the leaks, we're getting a new of this type of Elaine, which already has a Relic that increases damage uh, to enemies with Shock, right? That, that's what the Relic does. I'm looking it up, so I'm not mistaken. But all to me, like th these signs make me think that the LR is going to be the festival, especially with this new Elaine. Yeah. Uh, enemies with shock take 30% more damage. So if you're gonna have a new Elaine coming out next week that has this relic, she's gonna have this relic because she's the same this same name Elaine, right? She's gonna have this relic. It just tells me that the LR is gonna be king. Or sorry, festival king. Right? Because if the enemies are, are gonna you know take more damage from shock, having the LR apply shock makes sense. And then obviously skinny king. The OG one, if he becomes an LR, be ready for Patrifice. <laughs> you have not been seeing... like if, if you are not an OG player, you don't remember how annoying it was to face King Helbrum together. Like, the taste that we've had recently of an annoying team being like Summer and Merlin Gaffer was very terrifying to see, it's just so annoying. I think that the Patrifies from back in the day were worse. It's just worse. Because then you had nothing you could do. If if you're facing a Patrify team, you all you had to do was pray that they're stupid enough to like not Patrify your king so you could cleanse. Because, <laughs> because uh, you know, the attack seal, if you have a debuff card, you're chill, right? Or you push an ultimate if they don't if they don't get to uh, lower ult gauge, you're chill. Patrifies are a little more inconvenient. Although again, it falls on the same problem that I think Festival King would have. That cleanses are optimal right now. Cleanses are in the meta. Not card cleanses, but the Demon King cleanses himself and so does Purgatory Melee. And that's like two of the meta characters that are you're gonna be facing all the time. So, how are they going to circumvent that? I don't know. They're going to have... I mean, honestly, King has a lot of potential with his passive as well. His passive is just increases Fairy's basic stats by 8%. If they bump it up to 30, and then obviously add on a bunch of stuff to it, like, that, that's already like a... <laughs> basic stat buffer by 30% would already make this a good unit. Like, <laughs> straight up. Uh, of course, Fairies aren't great, but you know. If he became good. There's stuff they could do to him. 
that could make him good. I mean, Green Askener was a terrible character, right? He was a terrible unit, and they make him OP. Would they... I'm scared that they would do the same thing they did to Askenor. Askenor is a stupid good unit with a very terrible restriction of only being able to be run if your whole team is humans, including the back unit. Would they do the same thing for King? Maybe. They could do the same thing for King. I hope they don't. Uh, I, I don't like characters being restrictive like that. Now, could it be Fat King? <laughs> I actually would uninstall the game if they made Fat King in LR. So, I don't want to think of that possibility. So, let me know what you guys think. Uh, very excited for the new lane and LR King. I sure am. I mean, LR King is cool. I like King as a character. Elaine is the banner is uh, is the questionable part.